Alrighty guys, welcome back to Subnautica, where today we are heading down into the Crystal Caverns because there's a piece of Alan's body I need to scan. So, I'm going to be quite honest with you. Uh, I'm scared about this because I've been told this is just quite literally filled with Reapers. Like, there's going to be like four, not Reapers, four Leviathans. It's just filled with Leviathans and yeah. I need to be extra careful in here. But I also need to figure out where I need to go. Okay. Uh, I might just have to wing it and hope for the best. Need to head east once we get down here. Oh, God. I'm not liking this. I've been told that Basically, with the Shadow Leviathans, it's a matter of time with them. Like, you, you can't avoid them. It's just a matter of time before you run into one. Oh. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is near. Oh? Like, how near? Madam. How near? Where's the east? I need to head east. Oh, I gotta go down. What was that? Oh, I don't like this. I'm hoping that this thing's kind of like the ghost leviathan where it's a little bit of a not that scary to get attacked by. The Reaper, it's... I feel like the Reaper is just so scary because it makes such a loud noise when it attacks. Um, and yeah. I'm not even seeing this thing. I stepped on something and I'm sorry about it. Oh, this is so weird. You may notice I am hugging the wall. Wall of safety. Oh my god, there it is. There it is, people. Oh, and I gotta keep heading that way. Okay. Okay. He's gonna come up from behind us and scare the ever living hell out of me. I know it. There he is! Oh. He's a big boy, I will tell you that. When it comes to Leviathans, he is a big boy. Bring it! This is all I can do right now to stop him. Grind. Okay. You know what? Honestly, yeah, Reapers are still scarier. But I gotta get moving quick. That's one of them. I know that there's like four of them down here, I believe. Two per level. I need to just keep on heading east somehow, some way. This is starting to have me go up. I don't need to go up, though. I have decided that we are going to just repair the prawn suit a bit, because it did take quite a bit of damage there from one attack. And, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I need well, to go, Captain. and I am honestly just confused. Like, I've, again, I've smacked right into the side of a wall, and now I'm stuck. So I guess... We're gonna hug this on the left side until we can keep going east. There he is. Ah, he got me again. Again, at least he's not like overly scary and he's kind of easy to deal with, especially with a prawn suit. Okay, this looks like the way I need to go. go. What? You know what? We'll park here. We'll hit three. We'll weld. If he 
if I hear something, I'll just hop in the prawn suit real quick. But he does a lot per bite. I just need to be on top of my damage. I can't let it, like, you know, him grab me, grab me like three times in a row eventually. I can't let him do that because that's going to what's, that's got what's going to break the prawn suit. That's what's going to do it. Oh, I really don't. Is those, are those torpedo arms? Oh, of course you're already coming back towards me. This might be a safe little place to hide from him. Definitely got some resources, and it's definitely still having me go down. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just keep on swimming, people. Just keep on swimming. I don't have the pickup arm anymore, and I just tried to pick up Kyanite. There's Magnetite. Okay. Need to head east. The crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important to be there. A facility or a body component. Good to know. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. Oh, uh, I think I know where I am. I have to check here on my map. This is a uh, kind of this is this leads to the deep caverns. This isn't where I'm supposed to be, but this leads to the deep caverns. Okay, I think I, my guy just told me that this is where I need to go. So maybe, yeah, I did find the right place. Need to head down here and find the architect cache. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Okay, um, Alan, I guess then that's where we're headed. Because that was the plan for today. Was to find your piece of body down here in the crystal cavern. And look, we already got some, uh architect lamps popping in I don't think shadow leviathan should be down in this part I mean it would be surprising if they were honestly but yeah is this where I can can I walk through are you gonna make me yeah it's gonna make me okay luckily it's got air in here ooh Large crystal formations. Now we can actually kind of scan some stuff. Just because we do got the opportunity to walk around. But yeah, no, this is awesome. I am not going to lie. Let's, uh, let's kind of hide everything. Oop. Just so that way, uh, I can walk around and look at this. This is honestly looks awesome. Anything down here? Yeah, no, this is just kind of one of those shoot-off paths. In case you fall down, so that way you have a way back up. But, yeah, no, look at this. This is... Epic. And honestly, having to deal with the Shadow Leviathans, they are, they're not that bad. At all. They're not that bad. I'm still more terrified of the Reapers, and I probably still will always be more terrified. I think that right there is what we came for. Hello? Spider crabs? I hear you. Ooh, there's one. Architect component. I think these are the organs. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. Okay, is that quite literally all I needed from Alan? Down here? Um. Huh, that's actually kind of interesting. I'm going to just check my, check my guide real quick, make sure that we're done in the Crystal Caverns for now. And then I might head back to base. Um, yeah, it looks like... As for right now, we are currently done in the Crystal Caverns and having to deal with these Shadow Leviathans. The next component I need for Alan, I actually have to go up on land. And I have to go deal with the uh, one Ice Worms. Yeah. The cousins to the Shadow Leviathans. The ones that are up on the ground. Those are what I have to go deal with tomorrow. Or in next episode. 
but let's go and get up out of this cavern. I'm hoping this is the easy part. You never know, this could also turn out to be the hardest part of my day. Oh, because I also got to figure out how to get the hell out of this hole. Got to land on one of these crystals probably, just so that way I can stop and recharge my boost. Are you going to... Oh, yeah, no, it's counting my boost is not working because I was technically being held up by uh, something. I need to figure out which direction I need to go. So we were going east. We need to head west. All right. I really hope I'm heading the right way. I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Damn. Okay. There's only two Shadow Leviathans that I have to deal with, and they're not next to each other, so I can figure this out. I got time. I think I actually need to be right up over there on that ledge. That's where I need to go. Maybe I was wrong? Nope, that up there. I see it. We're getting close. Okay. Now, if I recall, this is that one area where I thought it would be a nice, safe place to stop and hide from the Shadow Leviathan. Now, if I'm correct, he should basically just be right up here. There he is. See the boy? I feel like he just went for me. That's what that sound was. I don't see him. He's right above me. I know he's right above me. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's be brave. Where'd he go? I really don't know where he go went. I don't like that. I don't like that I don't know where he is. I thought he was above me. Oh. He was above me. He went over me. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Because I don't have any boost. Okay, that's a school of fish. He's near. There he is. Back. Back. Back, you foul beast from the deepest depths of hell. That's quite literally what that thing is. I, I, it's not scary, but it's still a foul beast. All right. That thing is from a hell that I do not wish to ever go to. Oh, I don't really wish to go. Ah. I'm out of boost and I'm in a spot where I know I'm pretty sure he can get me. But I'm pretty sure all I have to do is keep going up and then I'm up in Marguerite's area again and I'm done. Yeah, we're kind of go we're heading back up to where Marguerite's stuff is. I think we're getting close. Watch me pop right out in the purple vents where the shrimp leviathan is. That'd be a fun day. Oh, you got done dealing with the shadow leviathan? Here's the shrimp. You know? But I'm pretty sure this right here is taking me up to Marguerite's base. Yeah. So I should be able to take the safe path home. Grappling hook. I'm trying to Spider-Man around and it's not working. Alrighty, and now we've made it back to base. And I need to grab some water. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to a problem for a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering if you can transfer bodies. Why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the there we go. you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. 
And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. I got two eggs. I got two eggs, and I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be for the... They're like... Cuttlefish, but they're not the cuttlefish. They're supposed to, like they're like cuttlefish for this game. I'm wondering if I should drop them in the tank. Oh, you know what, brute shark? I really don't want you in the tank, and you take up a lot of space. The glow whale, you take up a lot of space to begin with as well, but not as much as the brute shark. And I really don't like it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go release this guy. Uh, do I just want to drop him outside? Yeah. just proceeds to wipe out the indigenous wildlife because I released a not was it a non uh well it's a I don't know if it would be it considered an invasive species but not in not indigenous to this region of a species you know why did I do that I don't need fruit I keep on doing that did I replant my potatoes or do I use them all okay no I replanted them but if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying the episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting any new videos. And yeah. Oh, I also do offer YouTube channel memberships. If anyone is interested in those, $1.99 to join and all you really get is a role in the Discord. But yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing off. Peace.